Hey, what's up guys, it's Vince. We recently were promoting our program called the Memorial Day Meltdown. And it's essentially, you know, a six week challenge, it's the type of thing that you do to get new members, you know, to sign up for a short term program. And then, you know, eventually, hopefully they become members. And we've run this for many, many years and we run it every spring and we kind of lead it. We call it Memorial Day Meltdown um, but it basically starts mid-May and ends mid-June um, or around there. So it, it's six weeks. So um, the the team was meeting on um, about a week into the promotion of this uh, program and we have a goal and this is a really important point. Um, every campaign we run uh, for marketing uh, mu must have a goal. And typically these types of short-term challenges, like six weeks, our goal is usually around uh, 30 people, 30 non-members. And it's just a number of like how many new people we can easily handle. Um, and it's just, it just seems to work. We usually get around 60% uh, conversion rate. So it's like 20 new members and we run these four times a year. So it just works out. So. Um, we had a, we have a goal of, of 30 and we got into the meeting and we were a week into promotion and we had one sign up and I about lost it on these guys and because it's not just the marketing person that's responsible for the promotion uh, we do a lot of uh, reach outs to past members to come back and join uh, these challenges uh, we include our members uh, the members aren't include our current members aren't included in the 30 but um, they are able to do it. So it's kind of a separate thing. But the reality is we try to get uh, members that are doing the challenge um, to bring friends. So we get clients through referrals. So we get clients through referrals. Certain people are responsible for that. We get clients through past members. Certain people are responsible for that. And more of the marketing people are responsible for um, getting new people to do it. So we have 30 new people. And there's one sign up and we're charging 497 for this program we run this every year every year we usually hit the goal not every year but most years we, we hit the goal and I about lost it on these guys and I was like you're sleeping I was like you're sleeping on the job you don't want to know what I really said and I got it to the whiteboard and I revamped the strategy and I pushed everyone hard and then sometimes you as a leader you kind of got to do that stuff right like the, and then that's what the, your your staff wants, and I, I was always I'm I'm respectful when I'm when I get like that, I am respectful, but I also you know make make the point known that I'm not happy, and we can do better, and you know this is bullshit, and we're not gonna stand for these kinds of results because this is just lazy. And so I get on there and I write up you know what we're gonna do and revamp some things, but a lot of times it's just you know doing what we're same stuff that we're doing and you know, one of the things was we just decided to increase the budget on facebook ads so we didn't like say oh let's try facebook ads no we were already doing facebook ads the budget just wasn't wasn't high enough and then we told them to you know push the creative guy and make sure we get him some more pictures and just amp it up um but there was one thing i added that was totally different than um something we've ever done before and I told the marketing guy, Daniel, who's doing a really good job. I don't like it to, to tell him that, that much, but uh, once in a while I do, because I don't want his head blown up, but he's doing pretty good. And um, I said, I want four posts a day on social. And he looked at me like I had four heads. And we, we barely do one post on social. Like we're just not social media people. I'm not a social media guy. And we're just, it's just not a thing we're typically really that good at, right? And so I want, I told him, I, I want four posts a day. I, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. And I told him, I was like, if you miss one post a day, you go, you, you, you got to give me 10,000 push ups. So he wasn't missing, right? And I was, I really pushed him. I pushed him hard. And I said, four posts every day. But I didn't just say, you got to do four posts a day. I helped him come up with a strategy. And what we did was we batched uh, the content, meaning I sat down and I helped him with this. 
But I sat down and I wrote, I used a, a model called the three sentence story. And um, basically I wrote a bunch of um, short copy for Facebook um, that, you know, kind of, you know, talked about problems that people have, people over 40, uh, people that have in fitness. We talked about like funny stuff. Like uh, I told a story about uh, this doctor that uh, that said the uh, that that talked about how often you should work out, and the doctor said, <laughs> "This is funny." The doctor said, y it, "You should work out on the days that you eat," which I was like, "Oh, that's awesome! That's a really good one, right?" And so, like, that's a story that we wrote. So we wrote these mini mini stories that we used as social posts, and we wrote about thirty of them, right throughout, and then we started like recycling and reusing them and then we went and took uh, a, 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 a ton of pictures and I told him I was like I don't want any more crappy pictures um, I want you to go out and take good photos go get a better camera which he had already and um, go Google how to take better pictures and look at lighting and all that stuff and that's you know basically um, said that no one's gonna you know respond to anything if it's a crappy picture and so we did this these shifts uh, and then we made sure that there was always a call to action to this Memorial Day meltdown program because we had a landing page and a link and so in addition to all the other all, all stuff we're doing we we're emailing the list we we're doing Facebook ads we had a couple joint venture uh, things going on we were doing uh, uh, past client reach outs but all of it pretty similar to what we normally do. The one big shift and the one big change we made was this um, saturation on on social. And we had one client signed up a week into it. We ended up getting 36 signed up at 497. So 36 clients signed up at 497. And um, it turned into one of the more su successful campaigns we've ever had and I really do believe this social driver um, just made all of our marketing now I don't I can't tell you that all 36 people signed up from our social post that's not that's not the case and I'm not telling you that all you gotta do is post four times a day on social and your business will be successful but what it does is it brings awareness to all the other marketing you're doing so if you are running ads on Facebook, if you are marketing locally in the newspaper like we do, if you are sending emails, what the social posts do is they just get people to see you more. It's just more times. And we know that people buy um, not on the first time. Most people do not sign up. Oh, they're not sitting around waiting for you to do a challenge, right? Some people are, some people have that luxury where you release something and people sign up immediately. But you know, for the most part, you gotta get people to see it a bunch of times to be able to get them to, um, to pique their interest. Because I don't think sometimes you realize how hard this is for people, especially people that don't work out, right? It's just like, I talk about, I tell the story in the search program about Velcro, man. It's like, imagine the people that you're trying to get to, into your gym are these people that wear a Velcro suit and their couch is made of Velcro and they sit on that couch all day and it's really hard for them to get off the couch. Like you're trying to get people that don't want to move, that don't want to break inertia, that don't want to start eating healthier, that don't want to start stop drinking so much, right? They like, their, they, they like it and they don't even realize how bad it is. But you got to understand how hard it is. Um, to, to get people. So you need to get in front of them multiple times. So you need multiple ways to market your business. You need multiple things. But the so, what the social post does is this allows you to get it out a ton of times. And we did four a day. I don't know if four a day is the right number for you, but we really unpacked um, uh, this strategy yesterday on one of our uh, calls for the, uh, the Marketing Master Insiders Club. And we had a call, we had like, I think 40 plus gym owners on the call. And what I did was I, I did a, 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 basically a training on exactly what we did. And the cool thing was on, well, while I was on the training, I pulled up the document that we used and showed them 
all the three sentence stories that I wrote and all the different posts we used and we showed them a bunch of pictures and we had basically, you know, this master class on how to do social, but we also talked about how um, to get the frequency, right? Because a lot of times that's like very daunting just for you to, t for, if I told you post four times a day on social, well, right now you might be taking an hour to do one social post and be like, that's impossible. I don't have the time for that. And what we did is we unpacked the strategy yesterday of batching, of sitting down and writing, you know, blocking an hour and writing a bunch of different posts and then taking a bunch of pictures at one time. And now all of a sudden you have this bank, you have this bank of pictures, you have this bank of copy and all of that can be used and also reused. Right, so now we create it once. And remember, the, the copy wasn't just about, this is where people get screwed, right? People ba do bad marketing because they think, all right, post on social about this program. And, th and what they do is they post on social and so you, hey, we're having the Memorial Day meltdown and it starts on this date, you should sign up. And it's like, that's complete bullshit. If, you, if that's how you're trying to market your business, you're, you're gonna lose, right? And so what you have to do is you have to put things out there that people are somewhat interested in, right? That they will actually read, that you can educate them and entertain them and inspire them and then earn the right to be able to put your link out there. Now, there's some times where you just got to go straight to the point and put it out there, and that's what the ads are for. But in terms of this, we, we used stuff that was valuable and we used humor and we used education and we used all these um, different ways to, to get people interested in what we were doing. And it worked. And the cool thing is, we're still doing it. Right? We continue. This works so well. I was like, all right. Well, that worked. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do this all the time. Right? And so now we have a process of posting four times a day on social. And the cool thing is it takes almost no time at all because we batch it. We batch the content, we batch the pictures, and we have this endless supply and we reuse it after a while. And here's the thing, if you think people remember what you posted two weeks ago, oh my God, not even close. It's not even close. People do not remember it. And if you have something valuable and something worthy to, um, to say, you, you should be using it again. And you should be repeating it, all right? So, that's what we did, and, and yesterday we unpacked it. It was really good, and we had a ton of interest and uh, a lot of questions about this. It was really cool, and um, one of the guys posted in the, the, fa the private Facebook page um, that he used the exact strategy, and literally in the first like minute the post was up, he got a lead from it, from a free social post. He got a, a person interested in joining the gym. Right, and so like, what if you did that four times a day? Now, are you going to get four leads or one lead every post you do? No, but if all of a sudden this is just out there all the time and this becomes part of your marketing, do you think that's going to increase the amount of lead flow that you get? Do you think that's going to increase the amount of people that are clicking the link to your website or landing page? Absolutely, absolutely, and we're seeing it. We're seeing it firsthand. So um, yesterday we went deep in it. I went for over, over two hours, so two plus hours um, uh, to, to, uh, to help unpack this whole strategy. I did go through some overall marketing stuff uh, in the very um, beginning. But this is a really, really great way for you to get some insight and give you a specific strategy on how to do social media marketing better. And I, I think that, um, you know, you post a picture of your clients working out and you say stuff and, you know, I, I think people like don't understand like what is, what you should be posting like on your private members page and what you should be posting on your business page. Um, and I can't stress this enough that I'm giving you a strategy, but this is, if you try to do this as your only form of marketing, you're going to lose. This has to be in conjunction with the other marketing that you're doing. But if you can do this right, it's going to make your marketing of the other things you're doing so much better and more effective. And so um, I went through and we went two, two plus hours 
um, uh, on, on this masterclass and you can get uh, access to the recording uh, of the masterclass I did plus the document you'll get the document uh, of the 30 posts that I personally wrote um, that I gave them because we posted it right into the, the Facebook group um, so, so if you want access to the recording and you want access to the actual document of the post now you know I say like you know I told and I told the people that were on the, the call that got access to these posts that I wrote I was like dude I was like, use these as inspiration, but don't just blindly copy it, right? You know, it's fine. If you want to swipe and, you know, do a couple, that, that's fine. Um, but use it more as inspiration because if you don't write the stuff yourself and you're just going to copy what other people did, uh, you're not really going to learn. And the point is, in, I, and I'm a big, like, you know, I, I, I don't mind done for you stuff, but the reality is I, I want to teach people how to do this. And I know that's not like the best thing in the world and I know people don't want to learn and people just want it done for them. And the reality is, yeah, that's great, but I also want to, I want to work with people that, that want to put the work in. So I'm a little different you know, in that way. So when you get inside and you see, you watch the recording and you um, get access to these posts, you can start to see you know, what is going to capture attention. You can start to see the strategy and the philosophy behind um, this type of presence on social, which is really driving um, a lot of great, great uh, feedback to our gym. So here's how you do it. You get access to the recording um, and the document through going to club.vincegabriel.com. Just C-L-U-B dot vincegabriel.com. And you can get access to the recording and the um, and the document. Uh, in addition to that, so when you get into when you go to club.vincegabriel.com, you can um, buy a trial for a dollar. So literally, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to spend a buck, right? But for the buck, you're gonna get 60 days of uh, of, of a trial in my marketing uh, masterclass. Okay. Marketing Master Insiders Club. And when you get inside uh, for your $1 trial, your whopping $1 trial, um, you'll get access to my, the guy that runs my marketing. So the guy that runs my marketing for the gym is a coach, right? And so once you get inside, you'll be able to talk to Daniel. And you'll be able to ask him questions about what we're doing about our marketing. And you'll be able to get on the phone with him one on one and ask questions, you know, for him to help you. So you get coaching. You actually get live coaching. You also get once a month, you get on, get to get on call with me and we go through uh, and I teach a masterclass just like um, I'm talking about one of this is one of them. But we actually have done probably about I think twenty to twenty five of these already that are pre that are already recorded and are in uh, the vault, which I'll talk about in a second. But you have um, access to all the past recordings. But you also get um, once a month we do a live one where I teach basically a, a lesson, a, a, an in depth master class lesson, and then I also um, do Q and A. Right, so you get that. So you get the marketing coach. You get the um, the master the monthly master class with me um, we send a newsletter out a print hard copy newsletter shipped to your door um, and that has gobs and gobs of, of cool uh, new articles and resources and ideas and success stories and all kinds of that uh, it's one of the only print uh, newsletters uh, in the industry so you get access to the uh, to the newsletter, uh, you'll get a password protected membership site where you will essentially get um, essentially get this password where you'll be like entered into this land of marketing and be entered into this land of, of resources that you'll be able to use uh, to market your gym. It's a really, really cool thing. Um, that you'll get access to. And as I said, you'll get access to the 20 to 25 other masterclasses that we've done um, in the past. Um, you'll get a private Facebook community, which is cool. You can ask questions in there and I'm in there all the time and Daniel's in there all the time and stuff like that. So um, 
That is what you, but, but if you want, so hopefully you can um, part ways with a buck to get access to all that. I think there's more uh, that you get from it, but that's really all I can think of um, right now. But the social media thing was cool. It was really an interesting um, experiment and really just one we, where we just said, hey, I want to increase the frequency of this and v increase the frequency using this specific strategy and we made it easy to do. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to take. It's hard to post four times a day when you're writing this stuff and taking the pictures as you go. But it's very easy to post and to create it, to batch it and to create it all at once and then post it um, all, uh, all at one time and set up, you know, you know, what is it, 28 posts or a week in one day, right? So um, it's, it, it's, been a, it's been a game changer and it's something we've continued to do. So if you're looking for um, something that's going to put some gasoline on the fire of your marketing, um, th this, this is it. This is it right here and it doesn't cost you a dime. Well, actually, uh, it won't cost you a dime to do the post. It will cost you a dollar to get access to all of those resources that I just said. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. And if, if anything, you just go in and start posting on social more with more engaging pictures and engaging content and uh, with it, more of a strategy uh, behind it versus just blindly just doing whatever. Okay. So um, to get access to everything I just said and the uh, access to the free masterclass, uh, you're parting ways with a dollar uh, for all of it. So just go to club.vincegabriel.com to ac get access to everything and I will see you soon. Peace.